Talk about the political correctness. Is that going to be the death of our societies around the world? It is the current beginning of the death. It's already happening. There are areas in France where Christians cannot walk. Uh, freely. Uh, President Macron has come out saying that the uh, Islamist movements want to secede from France. This is a, a leader of a country telling you that he has lost control. He's admitting finally that he has lost control. Uh, there, are, there are serious agendas being played in that region. Look, I am a Muslim, but I cannot live in an Islamist theocracy. I can live in a Christian government based on their constitution because that is where peace lies. I can't live in a place where ISIS rules uh, the area. That's no Muslim with, with, with a brain that works would want to live under ISIS, right? And when we come to the West trying to warn the governments and intelligence agencies about what is happening, about the people we fled from, we have this new political correctness agenda that tells us all oh, we're the racist, we're the ones who are traitors, and the extremist needs to be understood and embraced. And, you know, they have a point. Let's listen to them. And sooner or later, they're in parliament, they're in government. And there you go in America. You have Ilhan Oman and Rashida Tlaib changing the narrative in Washington that is now uh, in affecting the whole influencing and affecting the narrative around the world, attacking Jews, attacking Christians, and this is just the beginning. So if, if Christians don't wake up, Christian leaders don't wake up, then we Muslims who fled from extremists can't help you anymore.